to Fearless Friday, your day to reclaim your weekend and your life. I'm Flora with the FloraSageTherapiesInstitute.com. Today, I'd like to share with you a few stories about perfection, as well as a concept called Wabi Sabi. Now, the first story that I'm going to share with you about perfection just recently happened to me um, about a week ago, and I was at a wine and canvas party. And what a wine and canvas party is, is a group of people get together and they recreate a painting from an artist that has previously painted that, that specific or you know particular painting. And it really is kind of a paint by number process. So the artist is in front of the group and says, everybody take this paintbrush and this paint, blend these paints together and paint. And the people that I went with was a good friend of mine, well actually, you know, like two good friends of mine and then my stepmother. And so we're painting these paintings and I started to look at others' paintings and how they were looking and how they differed from mine and then how also mine differed from the artist up front as well as the finished product. And I started to get really emotional about it. I started to really judge myself and and think of, well, I should have done it this way and I, you know, and I'm really hard on myself anyway, typically. So to have myself feel these emotions, plus my stepmother is an artist. She's actually a, you know, professional artist. And so she's got paintings all over her home. She's got her paintings in many places over the U.S. And I really started to get self-conscious of, oh my God, my painting sucks. <laughs> And over the process of this three hours, we took two breaks. And you know, during one of the breaks, I actually mentioned to my stepmom, I'm like, mine doesn't look very good. And she goes, oh no, it looks wonderful. She said, everyone's is so beautifully different and that's what's perfect about it. And for some reason, her reassurance made me feel so much better. I was like, okay, yay. <laughs> and so the whole rest of the time, I really focused just on my painting and how much fun I was having and how much fun everybody else was having. And at the end, all of these elements came together so beautifully. And the painting that all of us walked away with was perfect to us. And noticing the shift in the room that everybody was going through. I mean, and many, many shifts. And there was one time when we were painting that the artist actually said, I know this is a little bit stressful, but trust me, this is the most stressful part of the whole painting. And so all of us were getting very frustrated with painting the trees and all this other stuff. But what happened was when we started to bring all the elements together at the end and start to paint the leaves and the water and start to see how it was perfect for each of us, each individual artist, you could feel the energy of the room lighten up a little bit. You could feel it become so warm and, well, happy. <laughs> and that was such a huge exercise in myself to release perfection or my idea of perfection, and also embrace the concept of wabi-sabi. Now what wabi-sabi is, is the ancient art of finding perfection in imperfection. So in Japan, if a vessel cracks, typically what they do is they replace that cracked um, spot with gold. And many times they actually put it on a pedestal and shine light on that crack because it's so beautiful, because it's now perfectly imperfect. This is something that's very near and dear to my heart because my entire life I have, well, up until probably about a year and a half ago, I have strived for perfection in every concept and every aspect of my life. I've strived for perfection in my um, motherhood, in being a sister, in being a daughter, and in being a teacher. and every facet of my life I've really strived to be that perfect person and I am a self-help junkie I read so many self-help books and strive to be a better version of myself and but what happens is when we do this when we view ourselves as flawed we miss the beauty in who we are and we miss the perfection in what we're doing the reason why I'm getting so emotional about this is I've 
taken about 20 takes for this video and realized in the last take that I was again, striving for that perfection and striving for the perfect words and, and the perfect stories and anecdotes. And I, I, it was quite refreshing because spirit always reminds me of everything that I'm, I'm teaching and everything that I'm learning. And wabi-sabi is a concept, finding perfection and imperfection, like I said, is something that I've been really bringing into my life and trying to practice and trying to perfect for lack of a better term, <laughs> for the past year and a half. And it really has been challenging because I've strived for perfection for so long that releasing that concept and embracing what is, is quite refreshing, but scary at the same time. Because you feel so vulnerable when you accept who you are and that's it. <sighs> Think about how many times you have felt less than, or you have felt judged, or you've compared yourself. And think about how many times you have retreated and felt that huge amount of insecurity because of those imperfections, those imperfections. Now think about how much freedom there is and just saying, fuck it, this is who I am. This is, this is who I am and if you don't like it, too bad. This is just who I am. This is, this is my body. This is my spirit, this is my soul, this is my painting, this is it. And really truly finding that perfection in your imperfection. Normally I would do another retake of this video so I don't cry, but I believe that really this is something that all of us go through. We feel that strive to be perfect in our job, in our relationships, in our marriages, um, in the books that we write, in the books that we read, you know, in everything that we do. We strive to be so perfect, but we're missing out on that journey. This is something I've been speaking about over the last several weeks, enjoying the journey and not the destination. Yes, hopefully you'll enjoy the destination once you get there, but it's the journey. It's, it's finding that beauty in every step along the way. And a lot of it is messy. And a lot of it is ugly or pretty, however you choose to perceive it. But regardless, it's perfect exactly as it is. And to view not only our journey, but ourselves that way is huge. And really embracing you for who you are and feeling okay about that, but then also opening yourself up so that others can love you for who you are and not, not feel that, well, no, I'm not worthy of love because I know how imperfect I am. How many times have you heard in a movie or even from a partner, you know, I really wish that you could see yourself the way I see you. Most of us, if we just look in the mirror and love ourselves for who we are and find the perfection in the imperfection, all of our little flaws, all of our little, well, flaws, which aren't really flaws at all, it's who we are. If you look in the mirror and find beauty and perfection in every facet, in every aspect of your life, that is when you can really find true freedom. That is when you really can embrace the right here and right now and allow yourself to just say, you know what, fuck it, this is me. And I'm not gonna strive to be perfect anymore. I'm just gonna strive to be the best version of me possible. And our best is gonna change from day to day. So this week's challenge is to find perfection 
in imperfection, in any or every facet of your life, whether it's your relationships, your spirituality, your job, your finances, anything else, any other facet of your life, I challenge you to find those things that we perceive as imperfect and start to look at them as being perfect. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media platform and an email. If you've really loved it, please subscribe so you won't miss one single episode of Fearless Friday. Until next time, I'm wishing you a fearless and fabulous day. Bye-bye.